Yarr mateys, and welcome to a brand new week on Element Today in May. This week's theme is Coin Week, and I had trouble deciding whether or not this week should take place in a bank, because banks, money, you know, I'm going to talk normal now. But banks, money, it seemed obvious, but I ultimately decided that a captain's quarters of a pirate ship would not only be more fun, yarr, but also an opportunity to regard coins as not just money, but treasure. And this week's location is brought to you by the video game Fictorum. It's a really fun video game available on Steam, and it was created by a good friend of mine. So if you're into being a wizard, who's not, and you're a fan of RPGs and the Unreal Engine, you should definitely check it out. So why regard coins as treasure and not money? Well, first, what's the difference between these two? Okay, so not including sentimental treasures like a somewhat gross teddy bear missing an eyeball that your mom tried to throw out when you were little but you managed to pull out of the trash and hide in your closet until college. No, not including those. I'm defining treasure as something that's valuable because there's some kind of resource behind it. It's easier to see this with coins than paper cash because coins are actually made of various valuable metals, whereas paper cash, although we do value paper and trees, the actual value of the elements in coins is inherently more than a single small piece of paper. For modern currency, our cash and coins mostly represents naturally occurring resources that we've placed value on because of the scarcity of those resources. So compare this to cryptocurrency, like the Bitcoin, and there is literally no worth to it outside what people have collectively decided it should be worth. Now, that doesn't mean cryptocurrency isn't valuable, because it's very much a democracy. If enough people say it's worth something, then it is. A lot of our money is like that now too, actually. It depends on the coin, but the value of a metal in the coin can actually be worth more or less than the actual monetary value itself. So for example, a 2018 quarter today is worth 25 cents or a quarter of a dollar because it's got a quarter dollar stamped on it somewhere. We call that its face value, the number stamped on the face of the coin. But let's look at the actual metal composition. A 2018 quarter is about 92% copper and 8% nickel. So I went back, I calculated the actual metal worth of a quarter based on the weight, and it's only actually worth about half of a cent if you're looking at the metal. So compare that to a 1964 quarter, which is about 90% silver and 10% copper. The face value, it's still 25 cents, which means you could spend it like a regular quarter, but you might not want to, since the silver brings the worth of that quarter up to almost $3. Additionally, if that quarter was minted or printed essentially in a certain place, say Denver, notated by a little D by the date, and is uncirculated, meaning it has not circulated through society in a million cash registers, so it'll be in pretty great condition, you might even have a five to six dollar coin on your hand. That's a pretty penny, or quarter, really. Okay, mateys, that's my introduction for Coin Week. I'll see you back here tomorrow to talk about nickel.